Wow, that train was loud. Oh my God, we are KRT Life. KRT Life with a Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that kind of stuff. We finally got something to replace the 997 and it's right behind us. Coming up next. Okay, so the replacement is right there. And if you don't know what this is, that is a 1999 100 series Land Cruiser. And we're gonna tell y'all today why we ended up with this out of all the choices that After we had After 997. <laughs> yep. We sold the 997, obviously, because, uh, yeah, I wanted to go with a safari bill on my next 911. And in the interim time, I still needed a vehicle, and I had a couple of uh, requirements that I needed out of a vehicle. It needed to have four-wheel drive. Roof rack. Roof rack. Tow hitch. It needed to be reliable. It needed to be durable, comfortable, uh, and it needs to be able to fit in a parking deck and or garage. Now, that part, uh, we're gonna try our best to keep it there, but uh, yeah, it will actually, it needs to stay there. It has so, to stay yeah. there. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, fingers and toes crossed, keep it under a certain height, yes. um, but still make it cool. The vehicles that we consider looking at are as follows. They were what? There are several of them. So first them was... Quick amendment to this video. A lot of people suggested us getting a Cayenne and or Macan, and why didn't we get a Cayenne? Well, we had a Cayenne, it was what, first gen? Uh, yes, we had a first gen Cayenne Turbo. Yeah, and that car gave us so many problems. We actually took a loss on it. So for now, Cayenne is a no-go, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a possibility, I think, in the future, get a newer one. Maybe. Macan, on the other hand, we test drove one and it felt a little bit more claustrophobic in there. And um, yeah. I felt like for the price, if we were going to pull the trigger, we definitely would go with Cayenne versus Macan. Mm -hmm. And there's something you didn't like with the windows, right? Yeah, they have a funky little triangle window towards a pillar on the front. And the Cayenne overall, not Cayenne, but the Macan overall, like I liked looking at them driving down the street, mm -hmm. especially the GTS. But when I actually drove one, I just felt like it wasn't. Yeah, I like them from the outside much better than from the inside, for sure. Yes. So, back to the Red Bull <laughs> schedule video. Infinity FX35, which we weren't really feeling the looks of it. It kind of just like, eh. Yeah. Super bland, so that was a no-go. The Mercedes G-Wagon. We live in the middle of Atlanta. Atlanta crime rate is going up. Everybody driving G-Wagons, and that's like a putting target straight on your back and saying, come get me. Yep. So that is a no-go at this point. Then, of course, Toyota Tacoma. And the Toyota Tacoma, every, we went and looked at like... Another train, you kidding me? Another train is coming. We might have to change locations. Damn it, this location looks so good. Maybe oh my this God. will be short. It's going fast. Okay. We're back now. Hopefully no more trains over in this area, but there is a train track. So let's try to knock this out as fast as possible. Where were we? Where were we? We were talking about why we didn't get Toyota Tacoma. Yes. So every Toyota Tacoma that I looked at was rusty and or leaking. And these were all second gen Tacomas from uh, 2005 to 20, whatever it was. And yeah, they were all rusty and or leaking. Go figure. So the next one is Mercedes E-Class. Yes, Mercedes E-Class just got out of an E-Class, didn't want to jump back into an E-Class so soon, so I opted not to get an E-Class. Now LX470. Yes, so LX470, the, the issue with the LX470 would have been uh, most of them have AHC, which is active height control, and it is an expensive system to maintain, even though it is durable, and some people love it, some people hate it, pick your poison. I decided to not go that route. The 100 Series LC that's behind us does not have AHC, even though it is optional on the Land Cruisers. I found one that did not have it, and that's why it's behind us. And the last option was a 200 Series Land Cruiser, and that was still a little bit out of the budget that I wanted to spend on the uh, 100 Series bill, or yep. Land Cruiser bill, rather. So why did we end up with 1999 100 Series Land Cruiser? So, after looking at all these cars for a couple of weeks and I, I saw this one listed for quite some time while I was looking, 
but the ad was terribly written and terribly placed and the photos are bad like everything about the ad was super suspect and just raised alarms more than anything else right so that's why this land cruiser is specifically was on the market for so long anybody who would have seen this ad would have been like this is shady i'm not going to go see this car but once we meet the guy who actually was selling it that it totally explains why everything was the way it was yeah so the guy selling this car was an older pakistani uncle and he had good english but not really good english skills <laughs> so that kind of explained the uh, ad and i don't really think he knew what he had in this land cruiser because when i got into it i immediately noticed that it had lockers and it had a sleeping platform in the back and as soon as i saw that i knew i was going to buy the truck <laughs> but i was just trying to see if i could get him down to the price that i wanted to spend so he had it listed for eight thousand dollars and i got this 1999 100 series land cruiser for 65k so i was super happy about that price the gx that we have obviously you know we love that car so much as you've seen in all the vlogs about it and I know I, I've had an A series Land Cruiser. I had an LX 450. I've had a few different Land Cruisers and I just love Land Cruisers so much. And I was thinking like, well, why not try a hundred series? Because I've never had a hundred series. You um, know, Land Cruiser has everything we want and yeah. need at the moment. So that is definitely a plus. You yeah. want to talk about the motor? And the motor, the motor on this, uh, what in the world? The motor on it, I hope it didn't stop the camera. Let me check real quick. Could you turn no, it it's still. Stop Siri. What in the world's going on? All right, it's still recording. All right, so the motor, yes. So the motor in this car was rebuilt 120,000 miles ago, even though the body of this car has 391,000 miles on it, the motor's been rebuilt. So I have who knows how long that I can still drive this car around with virtually worry-free. And I almost bought another Land Cruiser that the people wanted 16K for, and, uh, it was in perfect condition all records all that kind of stuff but then i found this one for six thousand dollars and i went with the six this car cruiser. drives very well there's yes. no problems with it and then uh driving in atlanta roads you don't even know how bad the roads are when you drive this car exactly you don't even feel the bumps that's why like in the 997 videos when i would complain about the roads and how bad they are people would be like what the roads aren't yeah. that bad well if you're driving a land cruiser of course you wouldn't know that the you're roads are not bad. gonna understand what we're talking about Yep, so... And then we can fit everything we need in this truck. Yes, because it's massive. Yes. And so uh, what's next? Yes. Okay, so we have a long to-do list with the uh, 100 series that is behind us. It's going to be an awesome project, and you can follow along on our... We're uh, going to try to document everything we do. Yes. So you guys can see the whole transformation. Yes, on YouTube more so, but also on IG a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so what are we going to do on the to-do list? Okay, so there is a train that may or may not be about to start moving. This is our third attempt to record the video today in three different locations, well, two different locations. So, yeah. wish us luck to finish. So, what's next for our new to us uh, 100 series Land Cruiser? Um, first thing that I'm going to do is... Wheels and tires, of course. We got to change these out and you know it's going to make a drastic difference this is our usually it's our for first and favorite thing to do to the car anyway yes and i already have some wheels and tires so i'm going to be trying to film that right after this video <laughs> hopefully if this train doesn't start <laughs> uh next is uh the drive light so in the dash there's a little drive light that's not illuminating right now but it's a very easy fix so that's coming up soon uh cabin filter air filter uh, drive shaft grease. So my drive shaft, when I'm going to drive to reverse and drive to reverse real quick, there's a little bit of a knock. And all you got to do is uh, lubricate your drive shaft and that goes away. So I'm going to do a video about that. Uh, I'm going to clean the windshield wipers because they look shitty. Oops, I said shitty. Yeah, well. Because they look terrible. <laughs> and I'm going to take them off and paint them and refinish them, all that kind of stuff. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to clean under the wiper cowl because there's a lot of uh, vegetation and stuff stuck under there. And uh, a lot of people don't know, but under your wiper cowl area, that's how your car sucks air into the car. So that's why it's important for that to be clear and clean. So seat covers. Uh, when we got yes. the truck, we already did uh, some of the cleaning because it was just absolutely disgusting. We rented a, a vat, like the cleaner machine to for the carpets and stuff. So we washed the carpets. We scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed the seats and the doors and everything we could. So they're much better, but they definitely need seat covers because some of them are ripped. Uh, I am going to do the seat belts and I'm going to film the actual video how I clean the seat belts in this thing. But then what else? 
Uh, radio is kind of fixed, but I might do a radio upgrade. So that's to be determined. Uh, hood struts is already done. The sunroof is kind of janky. It works when it wants to. But uh, we're trying to figure out what's going on with the sunroof. But it does open and it does work. So that's You just need some push yes. when you want it open. Um, a proper detail, fluids check, a polish and wax. Uh, the rear locker. So this comes with the uh, rear locker, and which is an awesome feature. I just have to get it to engage. It lights up and it does some stuff, but it's not quite engaging. So we got to figure that out. And uh, torsion bar adjustment. So if you notice, uh, a lot of 100 series lean to the front and have like this uh, reverse rate thing going on. You guys, we have absolutely terrible luck today. We either the have worst trains, luck ever. two trains back to back. Then we moved to this location. We filmed it. Then the camera just the camera stopped just halfway stopped. through. So now after work, we came out hoping the train's not going to go. Now somebody honking the horn and the dogs are barking. So I am so sorry about this, but this is a reality of being a vlogger. Exactly. So, and not being in control of your studio or area that you shoot. Yes. So uh, where was I? Torsion bar adjustment. Yep. Yeah, you can see the truck is leaning. I want to do the serpentine belt, oil change, and tint. So finally, hopefully, we get through all the list. And we hope this is all recorded, you guys. Yes. <laughs> Fingers and toes crossed. This is the introduction to the 100 series to our channel. We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. We're going to do a lot of cool things, camping and adventuring with this truck. So After it's done getting all of its uh, upgrades, I guess, or... Or most of them, at least. Most of them, at least, yeah. All right, so. we'll see you in the next video. That's a nice course right there. And, uh, yeah, I hope this recorded. <laughs> all right, so it did, in fact, record.